Good evening. I'm honored to be here among family. I need to go up a little. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm honored to be here among my family, my friends, and a room full of outstanding educators. I sincerely thank my distinguished colleagues from Rancho Cordova Elementary. Go Rancho! and the full support of a unified school district for the opportunity to represent them here this evening. As I began to gather my thoughts for this evening, I was reminded of a poem that I've enjoyed for many years, written by Susie Toronto, titled, She Who Is Called to Teach. The last stanza of the poem reads, She lives for the moments when with wondering awe her students look into her eyes and understanding envelops them. Concepts once strange and distant, distant, now register at the deepest level. In that moment, their perception, perceptions change forever. They realize that the world is so much bigger than they are, and they thirst for more. I believe that as we have those magical learning moments with our students, we can learn as much or more than we teach. When we trust our students to guide us, we learn how to be a catalyst for their and our relationship with learning. Our hearts are filled, and we certainly thirst for more. <clears throat> it is this thirst that keeps us searching for what else we are capable of creating for and about our students. How can we make our school community a place where children and families belong and feel ownership? In answering these questions, we build ladders for our students so that they can reach their highest goals. I've been lifted up by wonderful relationships with my students for many years, and I am so grateful. I appreciate and love my truly supportive husband, Gary, and enduring children, Janie and Kevin, who are patient with my passion for teaching and are willing to share me with so many children. Thank you to my mother who has empowered me to pursue my dream of teaching by supporting me as a mom and a friend. Whether she's coming to my home for early morning childcare or purchasing school supplies and Christmas gifts for my students who would have gone without, she is unyielding in her commitment to others. What a wonderful model she has created for me to emulate. I am fortunate to work with an amazing group of educators at Rancho Cordova Elementary. I am constantly inspired by their never tiring dedication to their students and the new and innovative ways they consistently rise to meet the challenge of teaching every day. I'm proud to work with my principal, David Frankel, who is a master multitasker and always puts children first. And even though it sometimes feels like herding cats, I wouldn't want any other job in the world. One more person, sorry. I'd like to recognize someone who has had a very special hand in my teaching, Lila May, or Grandma Lila, as she's known in kindergarten. She's volunteered in my class on a daily basis for the past eight years. She has tied thousands of shoes, banded hundreds of knees, and given a million hugs. Imagine if your grandmother could come to school with you or work with you every day and help make it all okay. I'm living the dream. As you can see, I may be the one standing here in the spotlight, but I am certainly not alone. I am one of many who create a place for and about the love of children and childhood every day. Thank you.